I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Tis time. We got him graphite up. We're gonna start it off now. Let's not waste any time. Supra. Bad boy Daytona right there. Let's get to the top of the hill. Here we go. We starting with that master blaster, Daytona, and one. The chrome blue Supra into. Got them swapped. Supra's got to come back. Daytona with a 2107 was pretty good in that first run, close to being on the list. Let's go. 2102, that's fast. Match up two of the first ultra hot. That Speed Seeker against the 308 Ferrari. <clears throat> Both of these cars, 43 grams for the Speed Seeker, 44 for the Ferrari. Let's do it. And the way that Speed Seeker pulled away, I thought he was going to have a crazy fast time, but looks like the 308 may just be a dud. We find out right now, we're in two. He's moving on, 2126. Next race in the gate. It's another Supra Daytona matchup. Can the Supras tie it up? One way to find out. Let's do it. 2105, pretty nice. See if he can hold that speed. If he'll eliminate this Daytona. Right here. Oh, yeah. 2101. Good race four. Another starburst. He's matching up against the ultra hots. First starburst versus ultra hots matchup was won by the ultra hots. Let's see how this one gonna turn out. Close to Predator taking it. The 928 pulled away at the end. He does have a good weight advantage on that police car though. Race two. And it looked like the Porsche got him at the end, but the timer said he didn't. I'm gonna have to adjust that thing. But we're going to a second round. It's on averages if it doesn't happen this time. Predator in one, Starburst in two. Wow. Haley's Comet police car takes it by two one thousandths. The Predator's gotta win by more than that or he is done. Here we go. by one one thousand he's out ran a 2101 and got eliminated that sucks still haven't seen anything under 2100 kind of disappointing let's see if the next matchup will have it it's another supra versus daytona to the top of the supra's in one daytona's in two they've split matchup so far here we go Daytona weight from the Daytona is pretty sweet. See if he closes him out. No, he does split in the first matchup. The second run, the Daytona slowed down the Supra. Sped up, so could be interesting. Let's go. By 12, 1,000 is going to win by more than 12, 1,000. I don't see it happening. Let's go. Daytona sweeps both of it. The second matchup with the Speed Seeker and a 308. Speed Seeker won the first round. 308 lost. Round two. I'm pretty disappointed with these times, but I'm wondering if the new pull string has something to do with it. Speed Seeker won the first. Try to close them out. Next race, a Supra, a Daytona. Daytona outran the Supra the last matchup. This Supra is the only 
fresh off the card car in this little testing tournament. Let's see how it goes. Terrible time. I'm getting bummed out. Nobody's Randy Lee times after that last session I had uh, two times ago. This kind of sucks. Let's go. Daytona definitely faster. Take I've got the Starburst Corvette, which is actually under 40 grams against the heavy Supra. But I have to say this red Supra when I was graphiting it has a couple wheels with rough spots on the inside edge or something because it does not roll good, but you never know. Let's run them. Nice. Wait, wait, Cor, that's a good time for that vet. Go ahead and close this bad boy out. Man, he takes off. Get all these supers. One, two, three, four. Disappointing. That one's definitely going to be a red pill mod coming in the future next race. The third matchup of the Speed Seeker and the 308. Let's do it. Already at the top of the hill. 308 in lane one, the Speed Seeker in lane two. Dead heat. Ferrari to heat two. Will Ferrari finally win one of these matchups? Yep, he does. Three matchups left. It's the Silver Bullet against the State Police. The Haley's Comet State Police ran good. Moved on. Let's see how this one goes right now. Finally, one under 2100. Silver Bullet finally gets a good time for me. He's coming out of one to see if he can close the show. And he does. Second from last race around one. Honestly, these are the cars that I was expecting the fastest times from these two Marauders. Let's see how the first one does. Will he do it? Will he let me down? Let's go. Not let me down, but wow. So the Marauder runs a 2095. That Daytona ran a 2087. What the hell? That's crazy. Race two. It's exactly the same time. It's fast Daytona. The last matchup, round one. Marauder. 308. Let's do it. The hell? And that Marauder ran a terrible time. Maybe the slowest of the round. But I looked at it, I may have left the wheels pull over when I graphited it. So, got to remember that for sure when you're graphiting your cars. Let's see if I fix the problem. It's got a win matchup too. Yeah, that was the problem. Moving on. Alright, there's your advancing cars. Going to round two, but it's going to make it uneven. We've only got six matchups. We need eight to make an even bracket. So what we're going to do, we're going to make a part two of this video. This will be the end of this one. I'm going to go back, check these wheels a little closer on these losers, see if we can tune them up. The Marauder definitely deserves to advance. Probably this guy, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, was getting a little disappointed. We did have some speed at the end, though, so uh, put in the comments who's going to win this thing. Will it be one of the fast cars, the Silver Bullet, that fast Daytona, this Murata, or will Red Pill tune one of these bad boys up to be the fastest? Put your pick in the comments. We'll be back for the conclusion. Red Pill Racing, out.